Yeah. Yeah. Should've died already. Faces. I should've died already. Shit. Faces. Yeah. What's up guys, my name is here back with another video. Today we are going to be dubbing some chickens and we have to check up on, on the kikirikis that we just got from Puerto Rico. This is the kikiriki rooster that had some mites in him uh, the other day. I did give him a zero mite bath and I also gave the hen a zero mite bath. I'm checking them right now to see if I got to give him another one today because it is a nice day. The sun's out so um, it could be easy for them to dry up and not really freeze to death. Uh, this is my godson. He has a bunch of chickens. He's not afraid of chickens at all. He loves chickens. He loves animals. Um, when he was like a little younger, um, he's still young. He's still like a freaking baby. Um, when he was younger, he used to he used to take the chickens and give them showers with the hose because he wanted to uh, wash them like a dog. But you know, they're not dogs. Just a fun fact for you. This is what we use. Uh, it's zero mite. Just to get rid of the mites and stuff here. Go ahead, pour it in. Have my godson pour it in. You gotta squeeze it, bubba. Like toothpaste. We put it in the bucket. Then we get the hose. Go grab the hose. We're gonna spray it. Mix it up. I came in, I was high already. Hey, boy, tripping never my mind ain't steady for my sin. Should have been crucified already. Yeah. Why the fuck you need me? Don't you know how to fly already? <laughs> Try to tell you that it ain't real. Right. Hell, I'm fine now, Yeti. Oh, right. motherfucker. Yeah. And it all could end right now. Right. I never been so ready. Oh, oh, we got the bucket here. Got my godson here, my little helper, a little veterinarian. So I got the chicken that has the mites all over him. It's not that much uh, anymore since I gave him a mite bath uh, yesterday, but I am going to give him another one today since it is a nice warm uh, day. Just want to make sure that he has no mites at all, you know what I'm saying? It's just so that he's not hurting and he doesn't pass it over to other birds. What we're going to do is just dip him down, and I'm going to kind of like brush underneath to make sure that the, the zero mite gets in his feathers. But I'm just going to dump him in the bucket. Try not to soak him that long, but we can get rid of all those mites, you know what I'm saying? Get the shampoo within all his feathers. Make sure I soak it real nice. And good. He looks like a wet dog. I like to like kind of brush it, get as much water as I can without damaging any of his feathers, just so that he could dry up a little faster. Because the feathers soak up quite a bit of water. Right, have it stretch out a little bit. See him? He'll probably shake out his feathers. They soak. And then I'm just gonna do that to the hen too. She's all wet. But uh, you know, like I said, the sun's coming out and. It should be able to dry up and I'm gonna get the hen and do the same to her because she's the one who had it the worst on her. I washed the other day, she's looking a lot better than she was before. And I put a little temporary heat lamp um, just so that they are a okay, staying warm and dry. So let's get these uh, new birds, these kikirikis that we just got from Puerto Rico. Mr. Peacone, Mr. Short Leg. I think he has the shortest legs out of all the kikirikis I got from Puerto Rico. And I think he's also the oldest because he has the biggest fur. You kind of see the, the difference in size. And he's freaking small himself. Let's get this other guy out. Come on, bud. Let's go, man. Coming out? You want to come out of the box? Yeah, this is supposed to be for my dad's hen. Um, but dad said I could use it for my roosters because I'm kind of like a little short on cages over there. You know what I'm saying? Plus, he just recommended it because they just came from Puerto Rico. Yeah, the reason why I got this little guy is because it kind of looked like a, a BB red kikiriki. Like that color, BB red, you know what I mean? It's kind of shaking. He's kind of scared. Come on, son. See, that's him. That's a kikiriki. You, you kind of see him side by side of how big the kikiriki is compared to the... Um, um, Odinger's game bands him. Yeah, the Kikiriki, I would say, is a little smaller than the hen. The uh, Odinger's game. That's a rooster. So. And that's Big P. That's the Big P. No, this is Big P. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we're going to be dubbing some OEGBs today. I just cut my first one um, off camera. Real nice and tight. So. <laughs> And then we want to grab his comb, ears off, put his waddle off. The comb, I put my finger in his mouth. Put some pressure on his head. Here you go, after the haircut, the black. Red pile with his haircut. Looking good, buddy, looking good. BB red with the haircut. Look upset, but... Handsome guy, handsome guy. She need to drop some eggs, man. Come on, baby, drop them eggs, baby. Drop them eggs, pretty girl. Yeah, dad wanted me to wait till a quarter day to cut the comb, just so that, you know, the cold kind of frees up the blood and whatnot. Um, but, I, you know, I kind of just wanted to get my OEGBs looking handsome, get them to the standard. Yeah, that was like my first time cutting them. I wish I filmed me doing the black rooster's comb, because that was the first time I've ever dubbed a chicken. Um, the red pile was the second time, technically. Literally wrapped the dollar bill around her. She typed small. 
Do you know what she is? Is it a I tongue? Can't, I can't really Try it again, try it again. She is a she bite. Tongue she twist? is a sea bite. There you go. There you go. This is the problem of letting the chickens run around. They just come in the workshop and shit all over it. I swear we gotta close it up somehow. Come on, who likes to clean up chicken shit? Scoop it up with both your hands like a big scoop. Yee! Say it with me. No. Yee! Yee! <laughs> come on, man. All right, how about I get this one? You weak, bro. Congratulations, sir. You move the plants. Look at that. You see? You see like that. You kick it. Why don't you just pick it up? And then let's go throw it in the trash. Come on. Dang. Can I get a round of applause? But yeah, guys. Just uh, doing some maintenance before I got ahead to work. Just cleaning up with my godson. He just moved here from California. And he loves it. Right, bro? You love it? You love the chickens? Yeah, I do. It's very cool that I got him to help me out today. Usually he just is on his iPad playing fork knife and all this other stuff. Alright, come on. Move that barrel. What do you think of her? You like her? I like her. <laughs> Come on, we'll put her away. There you go, little girl. There you go. Look at this guy! You're a sellout, bruh! Dang, bruh! Yeah, you over here doing your own thing. Dang! I'm so I'm gonna do the work that I have to do and then get the hell out of there. Once I get my candy, I'm out of here. But yeah, you know, I have to get the godson some candy for helping us out, you know, organize the garage. You know, do some, do some and maintenance. Me. You got me candy too. <laughs> Damn boy, it looks official walking into this bitch now. Got the wood on the side. Oh, we just, we just chopped that. Jeez. Because, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, it could probably be colder than a motherfucker. <laughs> so light it up. What's up, Nana? We just washed some shit. Try better? Better? Oh, of course. I pet Nana <laughs> all the time. If you want to pet her, I can. So I just, you know, stroke her like that. <laughs> and she doesn't do nothing. She's fast. She likes to be touched fast. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go to work, boys. Bob the Builder, a.k.a. my Nino. Love and appreciate ya. <laughs> and then I would cut the silver fawns. He's a bit young, and I don't want him to, like, I don't want to cut it and then have it grow, so... I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer because he's like around six, seven months before I cut his comb. The standard, but he looks good. He looks handsome. Can't wait to see uh, his feathers uh, come all the way in. You can see. And I, I can't do no wrong. Were you by my side? Euphoria. All right, guys, so I just got back home from work. I'm about to just do a quick checkup on the birds, see how they're doing. I'm really just trying to check up on the hens that I just got from Puerto Rico, especially the one that was a little sick. She got here. She looks like she's doing okay. They look like they're doing all right. So the hens are doing okay. And then just checking on this guy, too. He looks like he's doing all right. Yeah. They look like they're doing good. But yeah, guys, all the birds seem to be looking okay. I'm just kind of just chilling by the fire, just thinking and, you know, just spending, having some alone time for myself and just watching the, the fire for entertainment. But again, that's it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social medias down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace. Right.